This time with Jeffy Lou, we're doing track day prep on the ATSV. Before you go out on the track day, you want to make sure things are up to snuff, such as fresh oil change. You want to make sure your coolant's good, fans, everything's operating because it does get pretty hot out on the track. What I'm going to be focused on today is flushing the brake fluid. So my brakes look to be in good shape. I'm going to do an inspection while, I'm, while I got the wheels off. And uh, I had this flush back in October of 22, and I used DOT4 brake fluid from the dealer. They use a special special brake fluid, but I'm going to be using Amsoil Racing brake fluid. And I'm also going to be using something new to me, which is this pressure bleeder, similar to like the Motive uh, brand, but it's actually a Orion Motor Tech. I got this on Amazon. Came with a kit, came with a catch bottle, as well as the proper cap for the reservoir. So we're going to work on that. My oil's been changed as of just a few weeks ago. Uh, it only has maybe 100 miles on it. And I'm going to make sure everything's up to snuff, and I'll be taking you through the brake, br brake bleeding procedure. So next up now that all the wheels are off, we need to go ahead and all the old fluid out of this reservoir, even just being a little over a year old, it's pretty dirty. After that, then we'll follow the proper bleeding procedure, which it goes diagonally back and forth. So I'll put that in the notes on what the bleeding procedure is, and we'll show you how to bleed the brakes with a pressure bleeder. So to get all this old fluid out of here, I'm actually going to use a Mighty Bag, which is an old school tool to do brake bleeding. So you fill the new brake fluid up in here, as well as tightening down this lid with this wrench to make sure it's tight. This recommends pressuring up to 10 PSI. The factory service manual says anywhere from 15 to 20 PSI. I'm gonna start at 10, see how it works. If I need some more pressure, I will go ahead and increase it. For this, you'll now attach the adapter. Make sure it's on there tight. Put this hose on. Actually, I'm gonna refill the reservoir. Now we'll put this cap on. Make sure it's tight. This is pressurized, 10 p exactly 10 psi. Brake reservoir is full. It should be fluid in this line. Now we're going to go ahead and go to bleeding. So this is start on the right rear. We'll need to remove these little caps. We'll need to attach that bottle. Remove these caps. Keep those in a safe place. on there. This bottle hanging. Make sure you get a couple fluid ounces out of this guy. So there's little bubbles I can see coming out. Again, you want to do this, crack the bleeder.
again, take this, take the rag. Make sure there's no brake fluid on here. You want to do the inside one, what they call inboard, then the outboard, rinse and repeat for the other wheels as needed. And we'll go ahead and do this one as well. Again, we're looking for any cracking, chipping, anything that's out of the norm. These pads have gotten hot, but that's about it. So we're going to go ahead and remove these little bleeders and start bleeding. So same procedure as before. Now, you do the right rear, left front, left rear, right front. That's the proper bleeding procedure. That's according to the factory service manual. Take these rubber caps off, inboard. And the outside leader out. That wraps up the job, flushing out the brakes. You know, you want to get a couple ounces per wheel out, especially in the rear. You want to try and get a little bit more fluid out than probably you would on the fronts because those lines are a little bit longer. But I used about 30 ounces of fluid, uh, so three small bottles of that racing fluid from Amsoil. And um, now I'm going to put the wheels back on. Everything's cleaned up, tightened. Every, all, the, all the bleeders are tightened. I also made sure that this was, this was slightly over full, so I had to suck a little fluid out because it, it will fill it to the brim here. So that's one other thing to keep in mind. Overall, not a bad job on this. Um, you know, I would recommend getting brake line wrenches, which I can also put down in the description. The Motive Bleeder or the Orion Motor Tech Bleeder, which I was using, worked pretty well, actually. I was pretty impressed with it. So it's a cheaper kit. It's about 60 bucks versus 55 for just the bleeder, our pressure bleeder for Motive, and then you have to buy that bottle to catch all the fluid. Uh, there's other ways to do that too, but I think it makes it a little bit more convenient to use it as a complete kit. And uh, one other thing, if you've got an ATSV, one of the most common issues on this are these mag ride shocks from leaking. So I cleaned mine up to see if mine are, are seeping at all. I don't notice handles great, but I uh, just want to make sure, you know, when we're taking on the track that we've got the full potential of the car. So uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. I'll be having some more footage on the ATSV. Hopefully I'll be on the track this weekend. See you guys.